a day full, full of phone calls, like insurance related and then emails about insurance stuff. And oh, you gotta breathe. Christmas bucket, cat in a Christmas bucket. What more could you want? <laughs> Just gonna sit in this bucket here. That is so funny. Hey, Doc, what are you Don't mind me just sitting in a bucket. Hey, it's Christmassy. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another day in the Fry Life. I am actually on my way downtown. I'm going to get some work done. I is coming toward the end of the year, and I have a lot of tax things to take care of for our business and edit the vlog and get some writing done for my podcast and so Mary's like why don't you get out of the house for a little bit and I was like I think that's a pretty good idea so I am headed to get some work done and then I might I've got a couple packages to drop off and that sort of thing Mary's just hanging out at home yesterday went really smooth recovering from anesthesia and her body seems to have bounced back great, which is just like kind of unheard of in our recent slash long history of her health. So it's just, we feel just really grateful um, for this unexpected blessing of where her health is. And I feel like words just can't even express where we're at we're we are grateful for the blessing of life and health and um each breath even when it's hard um and i think that it just kind of puts the perspective of we just feel really like humbled and grateful for that life is in some ways less hard right now and Health is less, life always has its hard elements, but health is less hard. Right now we're in the midst of figuring out, we're still sorting through the switch in insurance and getting things covered. Um, one of those things is getting her new medication, Trikafta, covered by insurance. Uh, up to date, she's been getting it through the expanded access uh, but it's just figuring out all the prior authorizations with the new insurance and like it's just <laughs> a lot of hoops to jump through and so Mary's been making a lot of calls I've been making calls we had a hiccup with her birth date on our insurance plan was actually listed wrong and so that was causing some denials Oh, all the headaches. So, I think it's all getting sorted out, but one of the things is IVIG. She is now almost three weeks, or rather, yeah, yeah like three weeks late um, for her IVIG. I think that I'm not sure what the hang up is there. Um, but we're trying to get answers. You know, it's kind of frustrating when you make phone calls to all the people that they tell you to call and nobody really has answers for why we haven't gotten it yet and all of that. And so it's just, we continue to advocate for ourselves. Mary's an awesome advocate and is working on uh, just figuring it out. Um, there's a lot of passing the bill when 
it comes to things like insurance coverage where we're, we're I, we have I know a lot of people get bitter about health insurance and that sort of thing like, I'm so grateful for it and how it works it's just you kind of got to play the game and for us we wouldn't be able to survive without health insurance and so we're grateful for it and we play the game and at the end of the day sometimes it's a headache but in the long run we are really grateful for the system that we have um it's not perfect but it um it provides excellent care so that is the end of my spiel as I get ready and get ready to go into the office and get some work done. Hey guys, I'm home. Got a lot of work done. Picked up some pizza at Mary's request. Yes. And Mary was just watching the footage from when she was asleep last night or I, yesterday. I had a day full, full of phone calls, like insurance related and then emails about insurance stuff and all the things, my brain, like I literally was sitting here when Peter got home, like I might start crying. Like I was just feeling really like, uh, my brain is so tired. But um, I was telling him how the vlog, cause he edited while he was out and uploaded it. So I didn't see anything. And uh, this, when I was waking up, that is hysterical. I was like cracking up at myself and sometimes you just gotta laugh at yourself right <sighs> uh yeah but i think we need to get this girl out of the house she's been just overwhelmed by all these details and i think it'd be good to get out and i just physically like i haven't been feeling great and like my i have like a little baby low-grade fever today and i I'm wondering if my body's just like fighting. I don't know. I have no like cold symptoms, so I don't think I caught anything. I'm, I don't know. There's no explanation, but I just don't feel great. So I don't really feel like getting out, but I do think getting out might help my brain feel less. And I don't think it's like post procedure. Like no. she's been feeling like this before yesterday. Yeah, for sure. In fact, my, uh, post-op what like recovery room nurses called to make sure i was doing good everything's good everything's fine um and i talked to my cf nurse did i talk to her we played phone tag back and forth anyway however it is i told them like hey i just haven't been feeling right the last few, few days just like a heads up just in case like if it ramps up in the next few days if i call them and say like hey i'm really not feeling well i just wanted them to have a heads up but anyway, um, yeah, so I was able to eat a piece of pizza. My appetite just hasn't been great either the last few days. So pizza sounded good. I ate some pizza. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. We aren't mall oh. people. Oh, you, you really can't, can't even see it. it. Come on. Okay, it looks a little bit magical. But... Let's go show them the magic. Okay. So you were telling them. We aren't mall people, but we are Christmas light people and Christmas decoration people. So we decided to come to the mall and see all the Christmas decorations. And Ollie, of course, still has his stitches. So he's at home. I did talk to the vet's office and it, they want him to come on... December 30th, I think? December 30th to get, get, get his stitches out. out. And I emailed the vet a picture of his stop pad, which is cut, and she said it looks awesome. And I thought it looked awesome, so I was glad to have that confirmation that it's doing good. Look at the Christmas tree! Peter wasn't kidding when he said they had some Christmas stuff out! <laughs> We're on our way to the car and Mary goes, let's skip. So we start skipping. <laughs> Mary goes, it's like we're flying! Oh my oh. goodness. I have fun with you. I have fun with you. I'm taking Mary to see the lit up Christmas tree in front of the movie theater. I sense its light. You sense it? You can see it through your eyelids? I think so. <laughs> wow. 
Are right you, there. You have thin eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, open up. Hold on, I'm yawning. Okay. Ooh. Magical. Oh my goodness. Nice. Here it is. This was the decoration that I saw the other day. That's amazing. It is pretty amazing. I wish that I could take my glasses off and show you what it looks like. Oh, I've seen my, it's like bokeh, like, right? Oh, I don't know what that means. You know, when like lights are blurred in the background of a video. Yeah, it is like that. That's something like, I am like so serious when I say, I I'm not at all interested in getting like LASIK eye sur surgery or whatever it is. I'm not interested in it. I don't find my glasses bothersome at all and I can wear contacts if I want to. But anyway, I wouldn't do it. And one of the reasons is I love, love, love when I have my glasses off the way that Christmas lights look. <laughs> I don't know. I saw somebody, I saw actually a Facebook post about that. So you aren't the only one. I saw that too and I was like, yeah, somebody gets it. Do you guys wear glasses? And if so, when you have your glasses off, do you think it's magical when you look at Christmas lights? Or any lights in general, I guess. Let me know. Except for the sun. <laughs> So you guys know that we just got these <laughs> stockings at Walmart. They didn't have an O, so we got a B for Bonesy. Now we need an H. Oh, amazing. So, yeah, I just so doubt that they're gonna have it because they didn't even have an O and that was like the first day they got them. So I am not sure. But I did pull out one of our old stockings upstairs and I thought I could cut out an H in fabric and like glue it on or something. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> How you doing? You've been here for a week and a day. Do you have any thoughts? This air smells nice. <laughs> we love you. I think you're pretty great. And guess what? <laughs> we think you're pretty great. But you already know that because we tell you that every single day. Oh, so after our skipping on the sidewalk and seeing that beautiful Christmas tree, we went to Target and we bought a box of mochi, those little, ice cream that what was the description it was premium ice cream wrapped in a sweet pillowy dough we thought that was a very perfect description and we bought a box of those for four dollars and 78 cents and we split that and there's leftovers so that was good and then we came home i was exhausted and we wanted to come home, so we came home, and now we're just relaxing, and that's gonna be the rest of our night. All right. All right. As always. As always. We will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. <laughs> Good night, Harry.
Tambourine. Good night.